What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness. Here to talk to you real quickly, and it's probably going to be about a six or seven minute video because I want to cover a lot of this topic and give you some of my previous injuries and what's going on with me now and what I plan on doing in the future. Cheers to you guys. Good morning. And I wanted to start off with the meat and potatoes really quickly. I was diagnosed with a blood clot, okay? It's in my right inner thigh. And without going into too much detail about that, I've been given some directions by the doctor and I have actually posted it on Instagram and Twitter and I did a little Periscope video about that. Those links will be in the description box in case you're not following me there yet. Please do so. Have a lot of fun on those and it's really awesome corresponding with you guys back and forth. Um, and thank, real quick, thank you all so much for all the messages, amazing, loving messages you guys have sent me on Twitter and while I was on Periscope and uh, the Instagram posts. Actually, uh, the owner of one of the companies that sponsors me, Todd, has called me every day since he found out. And thank you guys, all of you, so much for all the love and the support. So, real quickly, I was diagnosed with a blood clot. It's in my right inner thigh. Uh, this is how it went down. I had a lot of people asking me how I felt. Uh, I worked out Tuesday with intensity at a meet and greet that I had at the compound gym over in Garland, Rockwall area. And we were doing back and shoulders and uh, went to bed, woke up the next morning, felt like I'd kind of pulled my inner right thigh and thought, you know, I don't know how I did that. But, you know, the older you get, sometimes that's how it goes. You pull something, you didn't even know you did it. By noon, I could barely walk. Okay. About one o'clock, I felt my leg. It was very hot, very red. And the th uh, there's a vein that runs along my kneecap into my groin. It's about as thick as my thumb and just as hard, if not harder. So I called the VA. They said, get in here right now. You've got a blood clot. I went in there. They pumped me full of antibiotics, blood thinners, etc. I've been given directions of what to do, what not to do. And believe me, brothers and sisters, when I tell you this, I will follow that to a T. Okay. I'm very guilty of posting pictures and videos on Instagram and even on YouTube of uh, the doctor telling me to take it easy on my elbow, take it easy on my shoulders, be careful with my back. And I tell him, screw that. I'm going to go ahead and crush it until I die. And I don't want to die early. So if I broke something or tore something up or pulled a muscle, it could easily be fixed by the doctor, but you can't fix death. Okay. I, I'm not going to say that if I waited another second, I would have died. But uh, they did tell me that it was very good that I came in when I did. And I'm very thankful. Uh, lots of prayers, lots of love, lots of support. I'm thankful to all you guys for all of the uh, thoughts that you guys have given me and my immediate family and friends and loved ones. I just want to make sure you guys realize I've done a lot of stupid stuff in my time <laughs> and I'm not going to do it with this deal, okay? I want to make sure that the channel that I started five years ago, Big J's Extreme Fitness, uh, with the focus of safe and positive intensity, I'm going to continue that, okay? Again, I know I'm guilty of not following a lot of safety with the intense training that I've done so, especially at my age. I'll be 50 really soon. But I do also want to reiterate that 30 years ago when I started training, I was training with heavier weight and I was at a heavier body weight. You know, I used to walk around 300 pounds. I'd squat seven wheels, deadlift seven wheels, bench press five wheels with no problem. Uh, 20 years ago, I backed it all down a hundred pounds. So I got to where I would squat six wheels, deadlift six wheels and bench four wheels. And in the last five or six years, I'm down to squatting four wheels, deadlifting four or five wheels and benching three to four wheels. So the next couple of years, if not like soon, I will back that down another hundred pounds and I'm 300 pounds, you know, a few years ago, 280. And now I'm 260, 265. I'm probably going to lose another five to 10 pounds, if not more. And again, Safe and positive intensity is what I started this channel. It's what I've always been about. I've been Mr. Intensity for years before YouTube even started. I've owned my gym for 22 years. Started it right after I got out of the Army, and I was in the Army for 10 years. I was a master fitness trainer back then. Uh, a real quick resume. I was run over by a Humvee over 20 years ago. Broke both shoulders, my left elbow, uh, crushed and fractured ribs, and my vertebrae uh, in two places, and my left leg in two places. And the doctor told me I'd never walk properly again. And that's when I said, screw you, doctor. I'm going to be uh, a bodybuilder and powerlifter for the rest of my life. And a year later, I got on it. Well, probably two years later, I got back on a competitive bodybuilding stage and did some powerlifting and uh, some other uh, feats of strength. And, and I, you know, that was because I could be fixed by a knife and a, and a pair of scissors and some some stitches and whatnot. But... 
this is a situation to where if that breaks free or does the wrong thing or takes the wrong turn, it's going to clog something up and you guys are going to be doing rest in peace videos for Big J. And I don't want that. Okay. I have my kids, my family, my loved ones, and you guys, I got too much to give to you guys because that's why I'm here. I know I'm not one of those fancy popular YouTube channels that has four or five camera guys running around following them at every given second that they've got. That's their lifestyle. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm on a farm and I've, I've got things that go, uh, you know, that I'm doing. I own my own gym. I've had it for 20 years. I've worked in the law enforcement, uh, for about 19 years. Okay. I'm a private contractor. I work with, uh, people around the world. And so YouTube is kind of on the side fun thing. It's kept me where I am and who I am and what I've been doing and, you know, Kept me in the gym working out because there was a time that I kind of fell off after I stopped competing. I got tired of the weights. I got tired of the controversy and I got tired of the politics. But, you know, that's in everything you do. In your entire life, you will be tired of that. And if it's so bad, you got to stop it and change it. And that's what I did. I got out of bodybuilding and I stopped training so hard. But coming back in full circle of this YouTube channel and the Instagram and the social media, I found that I had a voice that some people would listen to. I'm not the most popular guy, but I am pretty well known. And I love being stopped at airports, restaurants, uh, in cities and, and shopping malls. I, I like that. And I'm the kind of person that I want you to do that. I want to take pictures with you. And I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about you. I want to find out what goals you're reaching, what you do for a living, what you like about the videos, what you would like to see more in the videos. And that's that, you know, I'm not going to brag about how strong I used to be or how much muscle I carry or how lean I stay year round. Cause I don't, I'm, you know, I'm not bulking. I'm not cutting. I'm just living. And I've put pictures upon pictures of me. I'm the average guy with an above average, uh, goals. So make sure again, you know, I'm here to stay. I apologize profusely for not putting up any workout videos recently. I put up one workout video last week and maybe one or two the week before that. I've just been going through a lot of stuff. I've got bleeding ulcers for goodness sakes. I can't even eat right right now. And again, I've had those for 30 years. So it's uh, something that I've had. I've been uh, medicating for a while. I'm getting that under control. Got the bone thing going on. Got a blood clot going on. But Big J's here to stay. I'm going to do everything the doctor tells me to do. And I want you guys, again, to make sure that my primary focus is safe and positivity along with a little bit of intensity. So you guys remember that. Thank you so much again for all the prayers. Todd, my brother, thank you. Uh, CEO of a huge company calls and texts me every day. And thank all you guys that have my number calling me and texting me. Oh, I lost all my contact numbers. Okay, so if you've had my number in the past and you haven't heard from me, please text me with your name because... Somehow, some way, my phone took a frazzle, and even when I went to the Apple store, they couldn't find any of my information. I don't know what happened, but I'm starting from scratch. You guys, please text me uh, and let me know what your number is, and let's get back to communicating. And again, love each and every one of you guys. I could not be where I'm at right now on YouTube, Instagram, the supplement industry, the clothing industry, and, and everything else that I'm involved with without you guys. You guys have made a difference in my life. You guys motivate me. You guys inspire me. Until next time, Intensity Rules, Train Hardcore, please don't unsubscribe because I'm not putting up workout videos in the next couple of months or so. Uh, I'm going to have some fun videos. I just went fishing yesterday. I'm going to post that in the next day, maybe even today. And I'm probably going to repost some of my older videos uh, that don't have that many views that I think you guys will enjoy watching from the past. And we will see you next video. Love you all.